26 of our rules of procedure states that a chairperson or deputy chairperson of a committee may be redesignated at any time of his tenure by the relevant whip, and Madam Speaker, I'm the relevant whip, <laughs> with the approval of the House. In line with the rule, therefore, I hereby withdraw the name of the Honorable Dr. Abed Wanika and uh, the name of the Honorable Vagala Ntuatwa Joyce as chairperson and deputy chairperson of government assurances and implementation, respectively. And I do redesignate the Honorable Seungu Konzaka Joseph as chairperson and the Honorable Naruima Beso, Beso Betty as deputy chairperson of the committee. I hereby redesignate them. Honorable members, I'm going to put a question. If you are in favor of removing Dr. Bed and and uh, and um, uh, a clarification, you brought Dr. Bed to be a chair. It was approved by this house. Now, what they are asking you to tell them why you are withdrawing them. Much as the rules are there, and they are saying you can withdraw any time you feel like, uh, it's just. Uh, thank you very much, right honorable speaker. I just want to see a clarification from the whip that when you are a chairperson, you are also a member of that committee. Yes, why the rule provides for redesignating a member, you are withdrawing them from the leadership. But where are you deploying them in terms of membership of a sectoral committee? Are they still hanging in the air? I just want to... <laughs> Madam Speaker, you know this is one of the accountability committees that we have. <laughs> and the discretionary power to determine the leadership of these committees lies solely with the official opposition party. And the rule gives party leadership the latitude to, at any time of their tenure, to redeploy them or to withdraw them and redeploy others. That is the rule. And There's the an order here. Madam Speaker, no, I'm still responding to the question. Thank you. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker.